about the Tissel Princess, found in a sarcophagus in a coal seam millions of years old, the disputes have not subsided to this day. Some believe that the story is an invention of journalists and do not believe in the existence of such mysteries. Others not only believe that the princess was found, they actively accuse the Secret Service in falsifying the facts and concealing the discovery. And it is true that there are no documents confirming the find, but legends are not born out of thin air. We decided to conduct our own investigation and to ask representatives of the evolved plane about this find. We got the answers, how much it is true information, judge for you, our dear subscribers, but we have no doubt that the princess was found. We also have no doubt that the sarcophagus and burial technology are far superior in their technical capabilities to modern earthling technology. Something is often found in coal that defies logical understanding. So in coal seams they find jewelry that could have been made with modern technology, but this jewelry is found in coal seams that are several million years old. The only comment our helpers made was that people have the wrong chronology and that these finds are much less old than the official version. Well, we continue to investigate this mysterious find. In the last video, I said that I would continue this topic as soon as the video got more than 200 likes. You did. I'm delivering on what I promised. You can read part 1 and part 2 of the video on this topic by following the link in the attached commentary. You are on Visioner channel. Subscribe, get likes, it helps promote my channel. Let's get started. The original codes. Question, but so far it's not in people's power? Couldn't even get close. Question, and here was that box that was on the right side that caught everyone's eye. This box was like a cell phone, but slightly larger. What was this box? Through this box to send signals to this alien woman. Signals were going into her head, sometimes the signals reached and sometimes missed. When the signal went into her head to store information and sometimes went in her ear and out, she needed this information. The box, at the time the sarcophagus was found, was in working order but no longer fulfilled its function. Confusingly, it was hundreds of millions of years old. The first time information came through the transmitter, there was a connection to the sarcophagus. It was something designed to tune it, to change it, to preserve within it itself the codes of the original planet it came from. Under the influence of the water she was in, a strong change began and through the transmitter, preserved the codes of her native element. In this way they could control the changes and preserve the original codes. Question, the black box itself served a great function. And as a transmitter that affected the head with waves. A transmitter that sent data directly into her head. The signal went into her head and out into the universe. In this way the state of this princess was controlled. Question, what was the peculiarity of this visit to Earth? Did she want to stay here herself to transmit data from our planet? Or are there any other versions of these visits? Why do we have information that there are more sarcophagi? Is it like death or is it like a dream for them? What are they staying here for to transmit data? They can come and go from time to time. Do these sarcophagi act as anchors or are they like avatars? I am told that they were chosen by this mission to stay. It was an easier option for them to leave their people on the planet they were going to relocate to. Question, this alien civilization, which is outside our system, explored Earth and left the sarcophagi with their people because one of the purposes was to explore and transmit data for further settlement? Yes, they wanted to relocate. These were the people who were in the sarcophagi who would be the first inhabitants of the planet. They began to change their people to suit the conditions of the planet. Wrong chronology. Question, if they wanted to live on our planet, the number of years ago is not quite settled in the minds of earthlings, but still, is this a dream, or is this death for them? It is not death. It is definitely not death. You could say it is a dream, but with a global rebirth. In the dream they were reborn. They were changing both their appearance and their DNA. Everything was going to adapt to the conditions of our planet. Inside them were the original codes that changed into our DNA, into our planet codes. When there is a question of age, how old is it, we have a confusion in our timeline. We have a misunderstanding of the time period, it's not millions of years, it's thousands of years according to our chronology. They tell me about some point of calculation, it is not quite put right. But a higher power did not interfere, this confusion went down initially. The Tissel Princess is several thousand years old, but not millions. Question, there is information that the black box is a lighthouse and is to be taken away, how true is this? Yes, it is a lighthouse. But I find it difficult to say what about taking it away. 
This race is related to our planet, but it has a different kind and structure. It, this race of aliens, is transparent, it has different vibrations, and it is difficult for them in our material world in a familiar body. The ones in the sarcophagus, they have already modified to our life, that's why they stay. So far, what to do with them, and their return to themselves is not the question. Question, that princess civilization, at that time, was it the only one, that was interested in our planet, or were there other civilizations as well? There's layering of civilizations. There were many others, that wanted to live on this planet. So many civilizations, that came and went from the planet. So many civilizations, that earthlings don't know about at all. Question, there was also a question at the beginning about the logos, is it somehow related to the Tissel Princess? I'm being shown some cities in the clouds right now. Roads that look like serpentines at an enormous height. I don't understand what they're talking about. They show me these clouds, and cities on them. And the cities, for some reason, are high above the surface of the road. Unpreparedness for more knowledge. Question, okay. What other additional information is there regarding the Tissel Princess? What are your higher powers telling you? They tell me, that the princess is really dead. Died at the hands of people who didn't understand and knew something about their find. Question, it turns out, that the Tissel Princess was alive until the moment she was found, and the tomb was opened? And after the opening, did she die immediately? She didn't die right away. When the tomb was opened, rapid changes began, because the water, that the alien woman was in began to absorb the environment of humans. Absorbing the DNA of humans, and the DNA of the planet. And, let's just say, she herself began to change following the water. There was an imbalance as the liquid was drained and poured back in. There was some protection on the one hand. If people got to the point, where there was an understanding of how to get information about her condition, to put it simply, they would understand how to get this alien out of conservation. They would have gained knowledge and technology. But humans were not up to it, and simply ruined it. It was in line with the fact, that people were not ready to work with the facts and knowledge they could get out of it all. Even the structure of water itself began to change after that. It's such a cycle, a mutual exchange between the water and the princess. They supported each other. The chain broke, and the connection died. The water is still preserved somewhere. There are still many secrets and mysteries in it, but much has been destroyed. Question, yes, a lot of things are interesting with this water, and the person who tasted this water died, and the princess instantly turned black without this water. It's just that people are not ready to use this water. It can be used in a non-contact way. Question, today we talked about how there are so many of these sarcophagi, that look like the Tissel Princess. You named the location of them, where they currently exist. There is such a question, that not so long ago in Britain, during the restoration of a house, a sarcophagus was found with a three-year-old girl in a bluish liquid. Upon autopsy, the girl began to rapidly decompose. Was this burial produced by the same technology? No. Such sarcophagi are found in the mountains of Switzerland. Question, yes, you called Russia, the Alps, Western Europe. I'm told no, it's not the same technology. Question, is it different? Yes. The little girl is different. It wasn't really a child there. That there is actually a burial ground, but it's other races. Question, we have now received information that the Tissel Princess is actually dead. Did she fulfill her mission for those civilizations that left her here on Earth? It helped them in some ways. But they hoped for more. Question, do you have any information that they are willing to give us? The eyes are now turned to those sarcophagi at the bottom of the Atlantic. There happens to be something to raise those sarcophagi and refer to them. But so far they are at the bottom of the Atlantic. The kind of information that has been revealed in this study, you can't say that's the point that we've said in this story. It is a kind of point where we got answers to the questions that were of interest to us. We will continue to explore the legends, as they are called. What you heard today is hard to call a legend. There are so many eyewitnesses to this story, so many facts, that reveal and uncover some of the mysteries of our planet. It is very interesting now to explore those sarcophagi, that are in the Atlantic. And, of course, similar, well, these are not burials, these are the expectations of alien races that are in such sarcophagi. Let it even be a Chinese princess, or the daughters of the Roman figure Cicero. A great deal of information comes in, and there are some interesting answers. If you were interested, thank the author by putting a like. And also do not forget to subscribe so as not to miss the outputs of even more interesting videos of my channel. Turn on notifications by clicking on the bell and share this video with your friends. 
What else interesting can you add to this video? Write in the comments, it will be interesting to read.